Hey, this is Ribbon Wolf Gaming, and welcome back to the Space for the Unbound. <laughs> I haven't done this in a bit. <laughs> I took a break for so long because, like, I was chasing my uh, my new hobby of AS ASMR. I guess <laughs> I guess what it's called. Atma, you came. <laughs> Please sit with me. I need a friend. Oh, you, Nirmala. I. Oh. Why are you standing still? <gasps> Bosk. Bosk is tidy again. Her Majesty demands your company. No, I'm still... You still do not know what to make of us. That's fair enough. Do in turn... Do, uh, do you in turn know what to make of yourself? What you really are. A specimen unbound by the laws of reality. Who cannot perish in this realm. You who seems to always be the only one left in the dark. If you want answers, then you need to come closer. <laughs> come closer, said the spider to the fly. Alright. I'm sorry I never stayed long enough to answer your call. I miss this. It's been a long time since we sat together like this. I... I'm sorry. I really don't know what to say. Are you... Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Who did this to you? The coughing had maybe a need to cough. Oh, please don't mind me. <laughs> Your questions will be answered soon. Ask whatever you want to ask. We will do our best to satisfy your curiosity. Are you real? I thought you were just a kid from a dream I had. The dreams a lot of people had, for that matter. So you're real? Or just a figment of my imagination? I can't be both, Atma? I don't understand. I mean, maybe we are the figment of imagination. I don't know. Are you my friend? You still doubt that? <laughs> that was a little bit insensitive. <sighs> I really don't know, Nirmala. All this is so foreign to me. I mean, we've been jumping through time. We're all... We are all here inside a fairy tale without an ending. We won't know what's real until the story is finished. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good line. Ah. What are you to Rhea exactly, Nirmala? She's my north and I'm her south. What do you mean? <laughs> Once upon a time. Ah. Oh no. Is this a fairy tale again? You liked it before. I still do, but... <coughs> Never mind. Go ahead. I got some... Uh... Cola's here. A call? Yeah. There we go. In the deepest, darkest corner of the galaxy, there lived a star princess who called a planet of her own creation home. Now the star princess had magical celestial powers. Hmm. She could grant any wish. In a flash, she could summon the most delicious food, the most wonderful delights. All but one thing. A friend. Oof. Oof. The Star Princess was dreadfully lonely. It was then that she decided to embark on a journey to make new friends. But she didn't want to abandon her, her beloved planet. And thus, the Star, Prince, the Star Princess split into two entities, stellar twins. The North Star Princess glowed a brilliant blue, and her twin, the South Star Princess, a rich, warm yellow. The South Star Princess left the planet to find friends in another solar system. Yeah, what happened to the North Star Princess? Rhea, I mean the North Star Princess. What happened to her? In the North, in the deepest, quietest... The deepest quietude. <laughs> uh, felt the same pain and loneliness as the South, for their hearts were as one. 
But it seemed like she began to hate the South Star Vince house. Aww. As she began to hate the pain and loneliness in her heart. Perhaps because she longed to shine brighter than the South. Her other half who had left her alone in the unforgiving void of space. I don't know. I'll never be able to understand the meaning of a story that remains unfinished. And I'm not the one to finish it either. Huh? The new. Of course, the ending belongs to Rhea, the North Star Princess herself. <sighs> I missed your in-depth explanations. <laughs> Roundabout. Metaphorical. Sure. What happened to the South Star Princess? <clears throat> she from Friends on Earth. But they left, eventually. Long story short, she exhausted her star magic and died. No, Nirmala! I mean, you've been giving us a lot of... But, wait, that's it? That's the ending? Of course not. The story isn't over yet, is it? What have you been doing? I met you deep inside everyone's mind. What have you been doing to them? Oh, you mean turning Eric, Lulu, and Marn into... Sometimes you have to crack some eggs to make an omelette. Mm -hmm. True in the literal sense. Um, you always have to crack a couple eggs to make an omelette. It's not just sometimes. But, I mean, they're, they're saying that, you know, you're gonna break a few eggs. Come on. You know what I was doing? Well, I knew what I was doing was hurting Rhea, but... I just wanted her to pay attention to me. To love me again, like she used to. Wasn't that a cruel thing to do? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cruel. Those people aren't real in this world. They're just figments of the North's memory. They don't exist in any meaningful sense, and besides, what other choice did you have? The North has been running from the truth, lying to herself. Completely detached, unbound from reality. She and the rest of this world are bound to her delusion. Just like her majesty here and now. But if the Eric, Lulu, and Marin that I met aren't real, then what does that make me? That's up to you, Atma. You're an anomaly in Rhea's makeshift world. Maybe you aren't the Atma she intended you to be. Intended you to be here, but... You're certainly something special. Maybe you're the one that can help Rhea to face herself. What should I do now? Shouldn't I be the one asking you? <coughs> Me? What? Ah, look. The new fairy tale script. It's finally complete. <laughs> Drowned in the dreadful sadness, the North used the last of her power to create an impenetrable barricade. In the hope that no one would hurt her in the way they hurt the South. Is this Rhea? What happens there? That might be how the story ends. The cat tried with all his might to break through, but it was no use. The North had used up all of her power, and not a drop was left. She remained in case in her galactic barricade, asleep for all eternity. What? For all eternity? You mean, no, that can't be. What kind of story is that? It can't end like this. That's why I need your help. <laughs> to make a sad story a happy one, right? I mean, at least one that ends. It's up to you to make the that at Mr. Co-Writer, just like old times. What do you want to do now that the world is on the brink? <sighs> to be honest, I don't. I don't know. But, Rhea, you know, uh, <clears throat> if anybody's in a terrible place, the rock bottom as it is, and uh, you always wish that there would be somebody out there who is willing to save you, so maybe we can be that person. I can't, I can't hide you in the past forever. I want to find Rhea and save her. That's the spirit. 
as expected from the hero. I'm lost here, though. <laughs> I need your help, Mala. Uh, I... Uh-oh. It's like the rift stuff. Rift magic. What is this? What the hell was that? Ugh. I feel off. Something is really wrong. Oh. Well, the flowers are dying. Uh-oh. Nimala. Emma, I'm sorry. It seems I can't help you after all. All this time I've been draining my power for nothing. I am now powerless. But you, Emma, you're still free. You must find Rhea before everything falls apart. Bring her here to go home. Nirmala! Nirmala! Hey! Aw, oh, she's unresponsive. What should I do? We should check outside. Come. There's not a moment to waste. It's like the beginning of the game when we were following Bosk. <laughs> Alright, Bosk. I'm gonna walk this way for a second. <laughs> ah, the game stopped me. Eh? Okay. Come on, Bosk. Ah, look at him. He's doing the cat stretch. Yeah. Uh, okay. We gotta be serious. We gotta figure out what's going on. I need to find a rift. Okay. Um, you feel it too, don't you? The dimensional integrity failure. You know what to use. You know what to do. Use your metric wand. Okay. Gotta be right here, is it? <laughs> Alright, down, Z, right, right. Man, it's been a minute since I played this game. It's great to get back to it. The rest has not opened properly. Uh oh. <gasps> Whoa! The wand, it shattered. Oh shit, Bosk. Don't just stand there, boy. Help me. On it. Oh shit. There's three of them. Oh. oh that's tough. Keep trying at my help me. There we go. The fate of the north and the south is uh, closely bound. If you want to save them, you'll need to hurry. Enter the rift and find the north. What about you? I have my own business to attend to. You look troubled. What is it? I still, I still, I still, I still don't fully understand what I am in this world, the nature of reality, and Rhea and Nirmala. Feels like I don't know them, and I don't know myself either. You need, to, you need to understand how powerful you are. You say that, but I'm just a normal guy. The magic wand is broken now. I don't even know... I don't even have the control of the red magic book. Oh, Atma. What is it? Out of everyone, you're the only person that isn't bound by this world of illusions. Nor are you dependent on its miracles. I have no doubt that you're on the path to realizing your potential, but... You must keep moving forward, strive to endure. It's a pretty solid advice for a cat. I'm not just a cat. Besides, I was simply repeating something that was once said to me. No go. Don't waste any more time. Take care of Namala for me. I promise the South is safe with me. When the time comes, I'll come back to help you. Oh, man. What a bro. <laughs> I feel like this is all a figment of our imagination, you know? Did you hear? She fell asleep during the national exam, mumbling about her imaginary friend again. <laughs> what a freak. She went on and on about it when I asked her to. She thought I was really interested in her cuckoo fantasy. So freaky. Ha! <laughs> Yesterday she... No way, she really? 
Yeah, yeah. So what happened was, <laughs> it feels like one of my ASMR things. Atma, the voice. Oh, <laughs> for a minute of that, there we woke up in our classroom. But what's going on? Oh, we did. <laughs> why am I? Why are you here? With one desk. Rhea must be somewhere in this realm. I need to find her. Alright. Oh, wait. Hold on. No matter what, I always end up at this desk. Are we just having some, like, prolonged, vivid dream? What happened to this place? This towel got messed up. You. Huh? Admiral? You filthy turncoat. You're just like those dumb kids, after all. What could Ray have done to make you turn on her like this? What? I didn't. I'm trying to help her, to bring her home. Oh no! <laughs> uh, we gotta fight Admiral? Ray doesn't need saving. This is where she wants to be. Have you ever actually listened to her? She doesn't want to go home. How could she? She wants to be happy. What right do you have to tell her any different? She she isn't well. <laughs> You're just like the rest of them. Judging her for being different, treating her like a helpless child. She never gets what she wants, ever. Here she's safe and surrounded by everything she needs. You really love her. If you really want to make her happy, you should do what she wants. Oh, man. That's, that's super toxic, though. Sometimes you can't do everything what they want, right? God. Even give it a roll. Sit tight and play. Isn't that just enabling her? I love her too much to watch her hurt herself. Your past salvation. Salvation. Oh, is Admiral changing too? <laughs> is that an umbrella? Or is that... <laughs> you leave me no choice. What are you saying, Admiral? I don't want to fight you. I don't know if I don't want to fight you. You're my cat. You're my friend. Oh, believe me. It's not going to be much of a fight. <laughs> Arable, why are you doing this? <sighs> oh shit. Oh shit. There's no. He's just letting me hit him. Want to know something? What? It doesn't even tickle. <laughs> That's so badass. <laughs> ah. What the? <laughs> hey, Bosk! Puff, puff. The rift is too small for a majestic feline such as myself. Ugh. How delightful. The second favorite cat is you. <laughs> I am Rhea's ally, just like you. Rhea doesn't need to pick favorites. Wish to call yourself an ally of Rhea's with your record. Bosk, it's good to see you. Nirmala, is she? Her majesty is stable. The time has come and I'm here. Go forth. I'll take care of this one. Oh? <laughs> that top guy has quite the mouth on him. <laughs> you should pick on someone on your own size. Very well. You might be more entertaining than this. Pathetic excuse for a hero. <laughs> That was so awesome. School is crumbling, it's totally wrecked. It doesn't even look like a school anymore. Um, yeah, we've been 20 minutes in. Let's call it an episode here and leave it on that cliffhanger and see what happens next. So, yeah, if you want to see more, hear more, subscribe. Oh, they're fighting in the background! Oh, they're doing fucking. Dragon Ball Z shit back there. Oh, I just saw them back there. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Oh, man. 
I'm gonna keep. Oh, God. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.